Hello there, are you looking for maps related dashboard design inspiration? Then here are five dashboard design that will going to help in your next project. And if you want to learn how to create such projects or dashboards, then you can join my advanced tableau dashboard training. With that, let me take you to the dashboards. So here is the first dashboard, which is more in the style of a newspaper, like a economic times background, if you remember. So this is where a clear um, indications that which location is the most interesting spot for fishing, which is this one, as you can see Papua and these circles are basically indicating or the information is given here. Each circle in the map represent a location of vessel based human activity at the sea within Indonesia territory, right? So this is more of a style which is informative, let's say for someone like a general public or an administrator who wants to look at uh, where the most activities are happening, right? So I found it really interesting and one of the designs uh, based on a newspaper that you can, you know, even create within the Tableau very easily. And this design is created by Taddy and the link for this dashboard is present in the description where you can come over here. Uh, explore this visualization also if you want you can download it from here right if you click you can download the tableau workbook or as an image or even the option is present over here so also you can look at Teddy's profile and explore uh, more visualization you know uploaded by him with that let me take you to the next visualization so this next visualization even though the map is not here but over here the area chart is something uh, you know creatively used as a map where you know cycle or the cycle rider has been shown over here with the help of an icon so this is a blue bike this is a high level information or a summary uh, that blue bike is a boston's regional bike sharing system it's a public transportation system so high level information about this then how much does it cost to ride like what is the annual membership, monthly membership, adventure pass and all. Uh, what is the average distance that was covered by someone who had taken the bike. And uh, this is the average minute duration, right. And then 2021 year in review, right, which is uh, how many stations they have, bikes, completed trips, uh, comparison with the 2020 as to 9.4% it has increased, 10.8%, 41.5% down below trips by member which is highlighted in blue and dark gray is a casual trip which has been taken um, also some information about uh, least trip in the month of fab 60,000 trips compared to 432,000 trips in the month of uh, September so again you know you can see so design is something which is uh, executive friendly or or something like a presentation friendly right uh, gives you a lot of information and you can take it as a snapshot and, and produce it in your PowerPoint whenever you want, like a, a company presentation or something like that, right? So that's also what I really liked. Um, let me take you to the third design. Again, uh, this design completely different from the previous one, where in this case, the height of the central beaching is being captured, which is uh, number of levels in the building. So this is the area of the beaching that has been covered central beaching right and uh, how many levels of the building that you have like level one two so clearly you know level one is present over here a lot uh over here you know scattered uh but not over here which is mostly the greenish part which is three to six level is something you can see across the city um uh, is is mostly spread right um, then what you have is 7 to 20 floor buildings clearly you know you can point it out where where it is present so someone who is a city planner or wants to review this information at a glance they can this they will find it really useful you can expand it like you know zoom it out a little bit if you are finding it slightly difficult but then uh, that's the whole idea that in a quick few minutes glance you are able to get an idea like what type of buildings are present so if you are a city planner you know you are thinking about probably you need to move the level one building to someone which is densely over here uh, whether this needs to shift or need to be encouraged into multi-level or these three to six floor buildings need to be encouraged into something uh, uh, skyscrapers or something like that then uh, then you know that is something uh, 
city planners can plan. So something I really found it useful, um, which you can utilize. Again, download link is present here, created by Wendy. Uh, you can come over here, uh, play with this visualization. Uh, however, nothing much to play. Even I tried to click it, I thought of, you know, it will give me some information. However, it's just a map of the central beaching with the location, with the levels of building. Uh, more visualization, you can uh, check it out by Wendy by clicking on the link over here, right? Next is this voted visualization. Again, a very clean layout. As you can see, the cost of living in Europe, the cost of living index index by country. Something, you know, uh, those who are travelers or those uh, people who basically provide visas to different country can, fi can really find it really useful. Where you have the city the uh, the country's information over here sweden and then all the indices for U united K kingdom comparison right so you have the option where you can choose the uh, indices uh, for a different based on a different country like a cost of living uh, restaurant price rent uh, local purchasing power uh, groceries cost of living on rent you can select uh, any of the like Austria over here and this chart will be displayed or over here the chart will be displayed the only thing which I think is missing over here is the uh, comparison so if I select let's say I hold down my command key and I want to compare Lithuania with the Latvia, Latvia then I don't get the comparison right that's I think the only thing which is missing however uh, some cool some interesting information or the map has been created the lowest cost of living clearly you can see is over here and the highest is basically only switzerland is where it is present so something i found it interesting again you can come over here link is present in description you can explore this visualization and explore more visualization from uh, rotaru uh, where you can go to his profile um, i believe that's his uh and uh it's a he and then you can explore more visualization right um and then next visualization uh by kaisley benedict uh you can come over here look at more visualization like i'm mentioning uh, again very interesting information what you have is how far you can get driving in rush hours which is uh, 5 to 6 pm uh, traffic in india so each circle over here is basically the 10 kilometer distance the 25 kilometer distance and then these color basically indicate that you can reach where you can reach within 30 minutes 45 minutes and 60 minutes right so clearly from this we can see that uh, ahmedabad is something which is an uh, indian city this is where you know the area that you can cover a lot of area you can cover within 30 minutes um, let's say compared to the Kolkata, right? For Kolkata, the same 10 kilometers of distance, you will be able to cover somewhere around between 30 to 45 minutes or even in some cases, even more than 45 minutes over here. So uh, even Pune or Mumbai doesn't look really good. Uh, so that's, that's a good comparison of the main cities. Uh, or let's say if you have something similar need for your uh, products or regions and stuff like that from a comparison perspective, I think that will be really interesting from, uh, you know, you are doing some sort of a product comparison, store comparison and things like those will be really useful. So that these are the five links I wanted to or five visualization I wanted to share with you, which will be really helpful for you to uh, produce next visualization or get an inspiration from again, if you want to learn how to create such visualization or dashboard advanced dashboard, you can join my training and the, and the details you can see you can email me and uh, I'll, I'll get in touch with you with that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.